I'm in a state in my life right now that I have this urge to settle for less because I feel like I've exhausted all options and there's no time for what Hey guys, how are you guys doing? I hope you're sane. I hope Nigeria is not driving you crazy. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Winifred Ogilin. I've been okay. I'm fine. Merry Christmas in areas. Happy New Year in advance. And I'm, I want to say, before I start the new video, I want to say thank you to everybody that has supported my YouTube channel. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for watching to the end. If you're not watching to the end, I'm praying for you. Thank you. Thank you for commenting, especially comments that are related to the video I make. Thank you, guys. I love you guys. So prior to this video, I sent on my WhatsApp and my Facebook that you people should send for me what you're grateful for, and I'll make a video on that, or your biggest lesson in 2021. And few people sent it. So we are going to be reading out what they are grateful for or their biggest lessons and we'll be drinking to eat. Yes, I have a drink here. It's not party. We are just drinking. So let's start. First and foremost, I'm going to read you people's own. Then I'll now start with my own. So the first person will be, okay, um, Amara. Amara is my friend and he's saying, cheers to learning to cook better this year. Learning and growing significantly in the implementation of my graphic design skills. Learning that the most important thing to me in life is my relationship with God, is what holds me when all else fails. Improving my human relations skill. Cheers to the monies made in 2021. I did not make any money. I hope you share your own. And cheers to the jobs won in 2021. And um, we're happy for you. And for the money you made, I hope you share it. I'm drinking on your behalf. I'm, I'm also happy that you, you learned a lot this year. So, the falls of life do not come to hamper us. They come to strengthen us. That is very true. Whatever you're facing did not come to stop you. It came to make you stronger and to form you for what is ahead. This is from MNK. And the next person, Black Nurse, she said, things will fall into place. Yes, things will fall into place for good. Just calm down, yeah? Just calm down. And let's drink to that too. Then, huh, the next person, Splendor, She's saying cheers to her successful intra-university transfer from radiography to medicine. Wow. And second thing that she learned this year, no one is to be trusted, and the only person that can kill you is your closest friend. Baby, do not tell me who broke your heart or something like that. This, this, this thing is coming from a place of hurt and anger. <laughs> And then the next person said, you deserve the best and you can achieve what your mind can see. This is from Thelma. Very true. Every good thing in life, you deserve it. As long as you have not deprived someone of their own good thing. Then the next one, own a choice so they don't impose one on you. Very true. Know what you want so the world doesn't just give you anything and you collect it. This is from Sonia. Doris, the worst day of my life was when my mom died on 11 September 2021, a day I will not forget. Babe, take heart. Now you strong pass. Like I know what it means to leave. I don't know what it means to lose a loved one. I've I've not really I've not lost anybody I loved before. Not only you understand, so just take heart. The Lord is your strength, and cheers to moving on and being strong. Then Joseph, my heart, Joseph. Um, Joseph is being very grateful. Firstly, to God for everything, 
Secondly, for some people he got relatively close to this year and how far they have bonded. Thirdly, for being able to make people happy and appreciated and accepted when they are around him. And then lastly, for people who support him. We need people. That's a fact. You can't make it alone. Cheers to you, Joseph. We are so grateful to God for you. Then, the next person. Oh, the next person is me. Okay. Cheers to the friends that stuck this year. This year was stormy. Like, from January to this December, it was so stormy for me. If you know me, and if you know what I passed through, you know what I'm talking about. Cheers to God for being there. God has been there. He has been there. I'm, I'm, and I'm very happy that he has been there. Cheers to family for their support. Sometimes eh, you just need someone to talk to. Family is there. Friends are there. And God was there. Then cheers to what worked out this year and what didn't work out. My YouTube channel worked out. My friendships worked out. My self-development worked out. And then there are a lot of stuff that didn't work out as well. Cheers to that. Cheers to my YouTube channel. <laughs> and lessons learned for me in 2021. Problem, no, they finish. Babe, you think say the problem where they face now. Now the last one we go face. Lie, lie. Just tighten your seatbelt. More. More are coming. And then storm they cool down. Everything that is hot will finally and eventually cool down. And then that urge to settle for less because you think you're running out of time. Fight it. You deserve the best. I'm in a state in my life right now that I have this urge to settle for less because I feel like I've exhausted all options and there's no time for what I desire again. But I'm just trying my best to fight it and still chase after what I desire. If it works out, if it doesn't work out, let's settle for the less now. And another thing I learned this year, on my I turned 18 this year, and trust me, I was toasted so much. Toasted means who in English, chike in pigeon. And I realized that in the beginning of the year, I thought it was a special thing. If a guy comes to you and asks you out, it's a special thing. Sister, it's not a special thing. It's a normal thing. I'm 18. Next year, I'll turn 19. I'll, I'll be toasted all through my life. So just make it a normal thing so that you don't start making mistakes and falling into the hands of wrong people instead of a special thing. And there is a story behind every smile. A sad story, a good story. Because people smile, because people are happy, doesn't mean that it's going all well for them. So those are what I learned this year. And those are what my subscribers also learned this year. So let me know what you are happy for this year, what you're grateful for, and what's your biggest lesson in the comment section. Thank you. And happy new year in advance. Oh my God.